but this is just a follow-up about a little thing I did the other day about how to get a clip that ends before the video you'd like it to connect to, to connect. Um, basically this video is connected here, um, that moves around, but I want to move this and I want this stuff to go with it. And But I don't want it to extend into that, it ends here, goes like that. So with a clip that has plenty of media, um, you expand AV, just trim that out, zoom in, connect it, then when you move these around, that goes with it. So that's kind of cool, right? Um, however, let's say you have a clip like this. There ain't no media. Um, and in the past, I've like made this into a compound clip and go into the compound and put gap at the end of it and then drag the compound out. Or you can put in a secondary and append gap to it and drag that out. Um, turns out there's an actually an easier way to do it. You just kind of put your playhead here and you put in a hold frame. Go ahead and cut that off and then connect that. And there you go. And if you're worried about, um, you know, if for some reason you don't want, if there's a little audio at the end of it, maybe it'll put a bit of the audio here. Um, let me actually show you what happens. If you put a hold frame here, right? Um, it, see how it extends it a little bit? And maybe you don't want that. So in that case, you can just, um, you know, expand the components. Sorry, I'm a little out of the range here. Expand the components and then just, it also puts a little bit of audio there. So you can expand the component and then just, you know, drag that back to where you want it to end. Um, but you end up with the same thing. You can put that there and then uh, there you go. Anyway, that's uh, a really quick way to connect a clip that ends before the clip you want it to connect to, to, to it. Hope you find it useful.